Um, no, we're very fortunate. Uh, we've got uh, Darren Pritchard here. We've got Gary Ayres and we've got um, Andy Gowers. And, and yeah, as I said, Tucky will come here early. We've got a bit of vision, but first of all, I, I want to go through some stats. And um, I thought I'd do it as a group and a collective, go through the stats. So between the four of you, we've got 1,046 AFL games. I think if my math is right, that's roughly 48 seasons of AFL football. Um, I think we're probably about four rows worth of players that have played. The amount of games you guys have played is the amount of games these four have played. So, tried to leave Shawnee out of that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Ezzy, I might start with you considering I'm holding your jumper that we got from the museum. Was it the 91 Premiership jumper that you wore? Uh, I'm not sure. Not. One? Yep. You got the 89 jumper, so. Did you think jumpers were made out of that, Rocky? Or was it always silk? They were like this? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't um, reckon they were as tight as all the jackets they are now. Uh, I should uh, square. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess I want to start. Um, what does this jumper mean to you? Obviously, you played in a flag, but when you look back at the Hawthorne Footy Club, um, what does wearing this jumper with these colours mean to you? Yeah, I think it's pretty important, obviously, when you think back over the years, and don't get me wrong, it's been a long, long time since uh, I guess I played. Not so much for these two boys here, but. It's something that's really special. I came here as a 17-year-old kid and left as a 33-year-old. And when you think about the opportunity to actually be part of a club, and I think the identity of that club had actually been through some pretty successful times, and then to come in and be embraced by that organisation, it means a lot. It is a colour, but every week you go out and of course that's who you're representing is the colour of your football club and the values that Hawthorne had as an organisation are really, even what I do now as a coach, are pretty important and pretty special for me. So I always felt that I had a duty to be the best that I possibly could be whenever I wore that jumper. I think one thing that I did a lot was lent on the older guys in the team and the person on my left, your right, was um, was one of the main ones I would seek counsel from. So don't be afraid to ask for advice, always look to improve. Um, sometimes some of the feedback you get out on the field you may not even ask for, but um, <laughs> it's, it, you know, it's well intentioned and um, so yeah, lean on, lean on the older players, ask advice, you've got great coaches and support people around you as well in all kinds of areas. The other thing that I'll just throw in is a, a real turning point for me in my career because I played a lot of seconds footy and then um, a bit later on became a more permanent fixture in the side, in the senior side, uh, which is why the, the 16 premierships as a group is very um, flattering for me because I played in one. <laughs> it was good that Jack did all the stats as a group, <laughs> not individually. Um, we got what? two Norm Smith medals as well. <laughs> two Norm Smith medals, all right. <laughs> thanks, thanks, <laughs> easy. <laughs> uh, I'd, I missed out on the back-to-back -back premierships, 88 and 89. And um, I think what I was doing was spending too much time focusing on what I'd missed out on rather than focusing on what I could do to help, I guess, the club and, and me um, in the future. And once I started to focus on what I could do in the present, rather than reflecting on what had happened or not happened in the past, that's when my career started to, um, to really, not take off, but <laughs> it, it, was, um, it started to get to the heights that I was hoping it, it could. We had a set of team rules um, about how we wanted to move the ball, um, for example, and so that wasn't regulated by the coaches, it was regulated by the senior group. So uh, I remember one day, uh, and you know, um, it's a shame Tucky's, Tucky's not here, but you know he was, he was never a boisterous leader, but if you uh, break one of those rules, he'd let you know. How was the feedback taken when it all was? It was all, well, I can't remember it never been taken well because you know there was no compromise um, uh, on those rules. Um, you know, and, and they were pretty simple probably in comparison to, to, to what you've got today from a ball movement point of view, but if uh, one of them wasn't... Um, abided by then um, uh, if you weren't you might if, if you ever um, wouldn't have to send the runner out it'd be done if you mm. yeah, did confuse us one day though Yabby <laughs> said they're a bit like sausages you can cover and boil them 
uh, right? and fry them, but of course then he said, but you can also scramble them, so we had no idea what that meant. Maybe it was the old, uh, <laughs> our intelligence might have been that great later, but you confused the hell out of us. <laughs>